hopefully you know this concept called Wolf's Law. Again, when I say biological laws, you can't argue with me on this stuff. I love talking about biological laws, not ideas or concepts, theories, because you could debate over those things. So Wolf's Law, as it pertains to the human body, as it pertains to chiropractic, goes like this. Bones remodel to stress. So the more stress you have in any given moment, any given decade, is directly proportional to how much your body will age and degenerate, and at what rate, et cetera. So just reverse engineer the concept. Ideally, we all want to make it to somewhere in the 80, 90, 100, 10, 120 range. Human body is supposed to last at least 120 if you don't know that. Okay? But very few people are making it that far. And this is partly the reason, is we're absorbing so much stress without us knowing that we're making it physiologically, biologically impossible to get to that end range because Wolf's Law is breaking us down at an accelerated rate faster than our body is designed to break down. So if you understand this concept and you're working on your posture, et cetera, and it's more than just posture. I write down here form and function. So when I say form, I mean shape, structure, posture, alignment, all those words. And you could talk about chiropractic all day long just using those words. Function would mean uh, flexibility, movement, kinesiology, movement of the shape, right? They go hand in hand. You can't really ever just focus on one or the other. They're both necessary to biology and physiology. So even just the structure and shape of the human body, if your posture is crappy, whatever, if it's contorted, twisted, you have more stress on your joints all day long, every decade, etc. That will cause you to age faster. That's why people end up typically looking like the person on the right and don't even know it, don't even know how that happened. And because they don't know and nobody's telling them, they just chalk it up to like old age or genetics or it runs in the family. No, it's just a bad situation over time that went crazy, Wolf's Law. So on the other side, function, if fixated joints, moving parts, don't move right, move too much, move asymmetrically, have too much friction, wear and tear every day, decade after decade, Wolf's Law, too much stress, bones will break down, discs will break down over time. It's just that science. Does that make sense? So we can understand how human beings age, and we can understand more importantly maybe how we don't want to age which would help us to tell uh, our niece and our nephew or our next door neighbor, hey, I learned something cool. This is actually how it works. If you just do this, you can have this. If you don't do this, you will get this. And it takes all the guesswork, all the opinion, all the bias out of the whole situation. So that's chiropractic in a nutshell right there. And that's the only thing people understood about it. Everybody would be going to a chiropractor because they'd want to have healthy bones to 100, 120 years, minimal degeneration. Same concept, Davis's law. It just says the exact same thing, not about bone, but more specifically about muscle tissue. So muscle tissue subject, subjected to excess stress over time, typically bad biological, biomechanical stress over time, will inevitably break down in age and degenerate at an accelerated rate in quantity. Your body will age faster, according to Davis's law, if your posture is so mecked up, messed up and wrecked and twisted and contorted, that every step causes a little extra minute stress to get packed into the muscle and it just breaks down over time. Simple science. Same thing with movement or the lack thereof, especially in our society these days, which is why I'm glad we don't work in a place where everybody sits all day. Because lack of movement will cause, by Davis's law, excess stress in muscle tissue, it will age faster, you will break down, you will decay faster than you're designed to. The Place's Law, one of my favorites actually, which got me addicted to chiropractic as well. And I could speak on this slide for like 60 minutes, but you guys would get bored. There's some really cool science that chiropractic has in their back pocket when it comes to Laplace's law. So again, excess stress, you typically mechanical, biomechanical tension compression, excess stress on nerve tissue causes it to age faster than it's designed to. So how do we age? How do we age well and how do we age poorly? It's not a crapshoot. It's not good luck or bad luck or genetics. It's just simple biological laws that are working against you. You don't want that, like I don't want that. I'm very cognizant, hyper-cognizant of these things, which is why I went gangbusters with trying to fix my posture as much as it could be. And Look, places law, structurally speaking, especially when it comes to like the forward head posture, we've already measured it. People with crazy degrees in rulers and instruments have figured out that the spinal cord gets stretched out when your head's forward. You don't feel it, you're not aware of it, so who cares? Most people don't, which is why most people don't get treated. So if you are aware of just this concept, regardless of how you feel, forward head posture is not an option for aging. It's not an option because it will inevitably break neurological tissue down 
and that creates some serious things, aside from some muscle aches and maybe some joint decay, right? Same thing, lack of movement, function, same thing. So I think those are pretty cool when I learned them. And you, the, the thing that, the kicker for me is, I understand it that every doctor, regardless of degree and credential, learns these things in school, very early on, unfortunately, and then just dismisses it and forgets it and focuses on something else that's a shiny penny in front of them. Or later on, education, they just, they just shelf this, put it in the back, and it never comes out. They don't make it work for them. They don't share it with their patients, which is typically most people have never heard of these things ever and most likely never will. So make them your own. Take them as far as you can. Keep learning and open your mouth and share them with other people. 